In this lecture, we will understand how to input a list using split method. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is revising the split method. The second topic is input a list using split method. So, let's get started with the first topic that is revising the split method. Let's revise the split method now. We have already understood what is the split method. Now, we will revise the split method in order to continue with this lecture. Split method is used to split a string into a list of substrings. We have already learned this, that split method is used to split a string into a list of substrings. So, split method returns a list of substrings. Because it splits a string into substrings and stores them as individual items of the list. The syntax is very simple. We first need to provide the string, then dot, then split. And to the split method, we can provide two arguments. The first argument is the separator, which tells the split method where to split. So, a separator can be a white space character, or it can be a comma, or it can be any other character. One thing we need to remember is that the default value of the separator is any white space character. So, if we won't provide a separator here, then the value of the separator will be any white space character. The second argument is max split, which tells split method the maximum number of splits that it can perform. The default value is minus 1 which means that if we won't provide any second argument to the split method, which is max split, then in that case, the maximum split is all occurrences, which means that the split must be performed at every place where the separator is visible. So, I hope with this it is clear what is split method and what it does. Now, as we have understood the syntax, let's move on to the example. Let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. Let's say we want to split this string, I am John. Sentence variable is pointing to the string. We can use this sentence variable in place of this string to split this string. Now, let's hit enter and type sentence.split without any arguments. If we do not provide any arguments to the split method, then by default, the separator value will be any white space character and the max split argument will be minus 1, which means that whenever split method will see a white space character, it will split the string into substrings. So, there will be a total of three substrings, I, Am and John, because there are two white space characters in between. Hence, we will get three substrings. And those substrings will be stored as individual items of the list. So, when we hit enter, we will get this list with three items, I, Am and John. I hope with this, it is clear how split method works. Now, let's move on to the next topic, that is input a list using split method. We will now learn how to input a list using the split method. Accepting a list of numbers is easier with the split method. We can use split method to accept a list of numbers. So, let's learn how to accept a list of numbers from the user and then store them as individual items with the help of split method. For this, let's consider this simple example. Let's say that we want to create a list of numbers 67, 80, 95 and 5. We want a total of four items in the list, 67, 80, 95 and 5. We will already assume that user will enter these inputs and that too separated by white spaces. Now, let's open our command prompt and let's mimic the behavior of the user. We know that with the help of split method, we can split the string into substrings. We know that input method returns a string. So, if user enters these values separated by white spaces, then through input method, we will receive a string containing all these items. We can split that string into four items and we can store them in a list. This all can be done with the help of split method. Let's see how. 
Let's together type this command. Numbers equal to input. Enter the numbers and then dot split. Let's focus on this input function first. Here we are passing enter the numbers as the argument to the input method. This means that this will be printed first as a prompt and user will get the idea what kind of input we expect. We are expecting numbers from the user, hence user will enter some numbers. Let's say that user will enter 67, 80, 95 and 5. In that case, input method will return the string 67, 80, 95 and 5. So eventually this method will be replaced by the string 67, 80, 95 and 5. And to this string we can apply split method. And we know that split method will split the string into 4 individual items 67, 80, 95 and 5 and store them in a list. So this means that numbers variable will eventually point to that list. After hitting enter, we'll get this prompt, enter the numbers. Let's type 67, 80, 95 and 5. These are all separated by white spaces. Let's hit enter now and type numbers to check whether numbers variable is pointing to the newly created list or not. Let's hit enter again. We will get this list with a total of 4 items, 67, 80, 95 and 5. So we are getting this list because input method has returned this as a string and split method is applied on this string. This means that we will get a total of 4 items 67, 80, 95 and 5 because we know that split method splits the string into substrings. Here in this case the substrings are 67, 80, 95 and 5. This is the reason why we are getting this list. I hope this idea is clear. But there is one problem if you observe carefully. We are getting the list that is true but we are getting the list of strings and not the list of numbers. Now the requirement is to convert these strings into integers. This is what we will learn in the next lecture. In the next lecture we will learn how to convert these items to integers. This lecture was all about input a list using split method. And we have already seen what is the problem here. In the next lecture we will understand how to get the desired output that is how to get the list of items where each item is an integer. So we have learnt what is the split method and we have understood how to input a list using split method. So this is all for this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.